Hey there, YouTube. So uh, we're back. Uh, video 19, uh, revision one. Yeah, revision one. So we got some problems to fix. Uh, if you've watched the videos, you know about the twisting and the brackets. Looks all great when we've got it up off the ground, but uh, yeah, the brackets are all bent. So uh, the biggest problem, again, was the, the main the main hub where it connected right here these are bending uh, inside the square tubes so i uh, got a solution for that we've got some uh, dom tubing uh, inch and three quarters by inch and a quarter inside diameter heavy duty stuff man that is some heavy steel when i build new brackets out of that it will definitely not bend I'd like to give a big shout out to 4E Welding and Design, uh, Jonathan there from uh, 4E Welding and Design in Alderside, uh, Alberta, because I'm living in Okotoks, so I was referred to them by somebody I know, and uh, Jonathan sat with me and uh, kind of reviewed the, the problem, because I couldn't find a material that would work for these, these axle stubs. Anyways, Jonathan, he... Uh, he called around a little bit and sure enough, he's got the, found this tubing at tube, Team Tube Canada. Anyways, uh, I've got Jonathan, he's going to build me some, he's cutting out some brackets for the tubes. Uh, basically, slip over top and then, uh, you know, it's quarter inch plate steel. Uh, once it slips over top, we'll have, uh, we can put it on top of the, the steel and then weld it that way and it's going to be, it's going to be golden. So that's the big fix for the uh main mounts there uh second thing was well, i guess if you watch the videos you also saw that the track was jumping when i was doing the braking on on each side so been looking at the video thinking about that problem and i'm gonna put a slider in from the front to the back the slider is gonna sit about right here it's gonna run all the way to this end here and stop like right here so basically the track comes off this way and then there'll be a slider, it'll be like a two by four. Actually, I think I'm going to do the first revision of the slider in wood uh, just because it can give and you can strip pieces off of it. And you know, uh, if the metals catches on a little bit, it'll just, it'll just give, it won't actually catch. I'll tape all the ends down, but yeah, we'll have a piece of wood sitting in here going all the way down. So the track, when it rolls over, it just rides in this what that's going to do is keep the track super tight. There'll be no give. The only give will be from the stretching of the rubber, and it does stretch. Uh, believe, believe it or not, when you put tension on it, it does gain some uh, distance there. And uh, the last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to change this design right here. Um, this is the inch and a half tubing. It's the same as what we use for these brackets here. And uh, I'm really concerned with the amount of tension I'm going to put on this. That that tube is going to, whole tube is just going to start bending out. And uh, if that bends, that'll uh, wreck everything. So what I'm going to do is I've got this three inch uh, by quarter inch wall um, tubing. I'm actually going to take and build a new assembly here. I'll cut this all off. And I'm actually going to use the three inch and get a two and a half inch tube to fit inside the three inch. And then uh, that'll, that'll be lots of strength. Won't have to worry about it bending. So yeah, going to get started on that. Um, and we'll get some little snippets of updates and progress as we go. Okay, so I'm uh, taking off the brackets. Just got the first one off, got the grinder out, as you can see there. Got the first one off. Yeah, I thought I'd give you a little update on what happened to them. Anyways, uh, I think you'll be able to see that. It is pretty warped. Pretty crooked. Um, so the round bars inside that, and of course it's pushing in one spot. The bottom there and the top on this side. The top on this side is backed up really closely by the weld. So it's really hard to tell that there's if there's any formation but there is a, just a bit on the edge but of course on the back side it was pushing on the bottom and there was nothing close by to hold it yeah big deformation so 
think what I'll do now is I'll uh, let's get you a, a sample of the new one and show you what the new brackets will be like. Okay, here's the new bracket. So there, the uh, old bracket, and this is going to be the new mount. Um, however, slight problem. This is supposed to be exactly inch and a quarter ID, and this is supposed to be exactly inch and a quarter OD. Um, I'm sure that there's some variances in that, but anyways, I can kind of get it to go on. But there's not enough clearance. So I'm going to have to call a machine shop and see if they can, um, if I take these apart, if they can take down 20 thousandths of an inch off of the outside of this shaft. Yeah, I tried sanding it on the belt sander, but it just takes too much so yeah well or i'll if depending on the cost i might just end up uh standing at the belt sander for a couple hours so uh we'll see i guess anyways this is it here there's going to be a, a the, the template for the bracket is a piece of uh quarter inch plate that goes around there's a hole in it just slips over top two of them and then they'll slip over top of the of the steel and we just weld it all up. Should be golden.